Hey guys, it's Bex. Welcome to another video. We are going to be talking all things books in this video like usual, but I'm going to be talking about my end of year TBR, kind of where I am with my reading goal, and the 24 books I wanted to read in 2024, the series I am in the middle of, and which ones are priority for me to finish by the end of the year stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is my 2024 reading goal. Um, I had it at 60 books and I am ahead of schedule. Goodreads says that I am six books ahead. I have read 51 books up to this point, which is actually the most books I've ever read in a year. Last year, I believe I read 50 exactly. So I'm already ahead of that, which is amazing. My goal is still going to be 60 books, but because I'm six books ahead, I might have like my mental reading goal go up to realistically maybe 65 books I feel like that's you're making so much noise okay and then now as far as the 24 books in 2024 that I made a list of at the beginning of the year I have read exactly half so I've read 12 of the 24 books, which obviously isn't great since we are now nine months in. So I really should be at like 18 books, but that's okay. Probably not realistic that I'm gonna finish that list. I think my goal is going to be to read maybe 18 of the 24 books, which I actually think is doable because I was looking at it and a lot of the books that I want to read, well, maybe not a lot, maybe like four of them are on my end of year TBR slash fall TBR. So so I'm confident that I'm going to read at least a couple more, hopefully 18 out of 24, which I think will be pretty good. And the 12 books that I still have on my 24 books I want to read in 2024 list are Ruthless Vows, Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom, The First Akatar, Morning Star, Rock Paper Scissors, The Storied Life of A.J. Fickrey, The Grace Year, the Love Hypothesis, Love and Other Words, A Dawn of Onyx, and The Invisible Life of Abby LaRue. I'm not going to go through which ones I kind of want to prioritize and which ones I don't because I'll be talking about that. As far as series I'm in the middle of, I am in the middle of 15, I think. Hopefully I didn't miss any. Actually, I just thought of one more. I think I'm in the middle of 16. Out of those 16, there is one, two, three, four, five, six that are on my priority kind of TBR for the end of the year to finish. I don't know if that is going to be doable at all because some of them have more than one book left. So the series I'm in the middle of that I want to finish or continue is the Shadow Me series. I have five books left and I believe out of the five there's two novellas. So I think there's three main books and two novellas so it's not as intimidating since two of them are really short. The next one I have is the Letters of Enchantment series which of course is Divine Rivals and Ruthless Vows. I've read Divine Rivals, still need to read Ruthless Vows. I don't own it, but I believe at least the last time I checked, it was on Kindle Unlimited. And I really like Divine Rivals, so I definitely want to read that one at some point. I've just heard a little bit of mixed reviews on it, so hopefully I like it. Then I have Red Rising. I have one book left in this as well, and that is Morning Star. The third book, I know the Red Rising series kind of continues after the first three books, but that kind of is a stopping point if you don't want to continue after the three. So I at least want to get that one read and then I probably most definitely will continue with the other two, two or three books eventually. Then I have the Crowns of Nyaxia series, which is I think going to be a lot of books, but they're going to be split up into duologies as far as I know, and really the only main one I have on my want to read by the end of the year for the series is the second book in the first duology, which is really the last book that is out right now. I think the next book comes out really soon, and that is The Ashes and the Star Cursed King. I really enjoyed the first book in the series, which is... I'm literally blanking on the name of that book right now. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. Then the next series I hopefully want to finish. There's two more in this series and that is the Truly Devious series. I read the first book. It is a trilogy and then it's kind of similar in The Red Rising sense where there's more books after that are connected but it's not they're not a part of the main trilogy but I at least want to read hopefully the rest of the trilogy this year this fall to be specific because they're very fall-ish books and those are called the vanishing stair and the hand on the wall and last I checked they are also on kindle unlimited so I'm probably going to be reading them on 
there since I don't own them. Then the last one I have is the second book in a duology and that is the Gilded duology. I read Gilded actually like two weeks ago and the second book is called Cursed. I've not been saying the names of the authors but I'm going to be putting pictures of all the books but this is by Marissa Meyer. I haven't heard this series talked about too much by her whereas a lot of her other books are really popular but I enjoyed the first one and it's also a very good fall read if you want to add something to your fall TBR. Okay and next I want to talk about my end of year TBR. So I have 20 books on here and I'm just going to rapid fire them. I'm not really going to talk about them in depth because that would take a long time and this video would be really long. First one, I don't own. It's on Kindle Unlimited and that is Ruthless Vows as I was just talking about. This is the second book in the Letters of Enchantment duology by Rebecca Ross. It is a YA fantasy with some romance. As far as I know, the second book is more fantasy oriented whereas the first book was more romance oriented but also still fantastical elements in there. So I'm hoping I like it. I do like like a fantasy book without romance in it. However, I would say that my favorite genre is probably romanticy that has both. So from what I've heard of it, I do think I'll like it that it'll just take me a little bit to get into, but I want to read it soon because it's been a little bit since I read Divine Rivals and I don't want to forget what happened. The second book is kind of on the same wavelength as Ruthless Vows and that is Morning Star by Pierce Brown. I already also talked about this because it is part of a series but I read the second book Golden Sun earlier this year and I read Red Rising a little bit over a year ago so I don't know why I'm reading them so spread out but I want to read this one soon because again I don't want to forget what happened in the last book or be confused or forget any of the characters because there is kind of a lot and it's kind of a complex story this is adult sci-fi well I think it's sometimes considered why and sometimes considered adult but I think it's more adult for sure. The next one I also already talked about I swear there's a lot on here that I haven't talked about yet but the next one is the rest of the Shatter Me series so I actually only own these two of the remaining books I have to read so maybe a more realistic goal would at least be to read these by the end of the year but we'll see. And this series is YA fantasy sci-fi romance dystopian. <laughs> I feel like it's a lot of things and some books are more heavy on some than others so that's the general idea of the series I would say. Next I have The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I really need to read this book. Um, it's been on my shelf for my TBR cart I should say for a while and I've just heard such good things about it and I feel like I'm gonna love it but for some reason maybe I just haven't been in the mood for it or what but I just haven't had the urge to pick it up at all. And I think this is just considered fiction. I don't really know. A Dawn of Onyx by Kate Golden. If I read this, I will be starting a new series because this is the first book and I believe what's going to be a trilogy. My first two books are out, but that's okay. I really want to read it. I have heard it's kind of one of those books that when people have read it, they think it should get more hype. And that's really good and it's not too long and it's just a trilogy, so not a huge undertaking to start and to read. And this is adult romanticy. I believe. The next one is a thriller and that is Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. Main reason this is on here is because I have had this the longest out of any book on my whole shelf I'm pretty sure and I also really want to read it and it sounds really good so I don't know why I haven't yet. I haven't read honestly that many mystery thrillers this year. I have mostly been in my fantasy romanticy era this year so that probably plays a part in it. The next couple of books I don't own, the first one being a duology and that is One Dark Window and Two Twisted Crowns. They are on Kindle Unlimited as well and they are like gothic kind of fantasy vibes. I don't know if they're YA or adult and I just heard that they're amazing and literally perfect for fall so I want to get the most I can out of reading them so I definitely want to read them when the vibe is right. Another one I have on Kindle Unlimited and that is Rock Paper Scissors by Alice Feeney. I kind of want to read this one more 
towards the last month and a half ish of the year because it takes place in like a snowy atmosphere and i've heard it's good to read in the winter so if i don't get to it by the end of 2024 i really i'm hoping to at least get to it by like february because that's still the winter oh and that is a mystery thriller i already talked about this one a little bit and that is the second book in the truly devious series the vanishing stare i only have this one on my list just because i don't know if realistically i'm gonna get it to the third book in the series because i have so many books on my fall tbr and so little time but we will see this series is ya mystery sorcery of thorns by margaret rogerson also on my fall tbr and one that i really want to get to because i've had it on my radar since last fall and I didn't get to it. This is a standalone fantasy about like magical libraries. Next we have The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. This is a fantasy about these three witches that died centuries ago and come back to like haunt the town which kind of is giving Hocus Pocus vibes. So I'm here for it. Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffin. This is also a standalone fantasy. I think this one has a little bit of romance in it as well. And this is about a coven of witches. mentioning this one really quick because I talked about it already but that is Cursed by Marissa Meyer the second book in the Gilded duology. Rumpelstiltskin retelling but make it darker. Fantasy with a little bit of romance. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom which is a duology by Lee Bardugo. I feel like these would be good winter books. I can't remember if I've heard that or if it's mostly just because of this cover because this cover just screams winter to me. Cold. Again I've heard amazing things about this duology and I just really really need to read it and I've also owned these for for over a year I'm pretty sure so I just need to read them so bad and I believe this duology is a adult fantasy I don't really know much else about it next is a book that's also a part of a series but I don't think I'm gonna finish the whole series by the end of the year and that is Art Enemies by Marissa Meyer I've now read two books by her two different series the first book in this series Renegades and then the Gilded series and I loved Renegades so much I rated it five stars and I just recently finally bought this one and the third book Supernova so now I can finally read them and I just am so excited they are YA sci-fi but super easy to understand about superheroes and I highly recommend this series so far and then I've only read the first one but it was just such a fun time and I think I really enjoy Marissa Meyer's writing. The next one I am so excited to even talk about because I am just obsessed with this author in the series and that is Spectacular by Stephanie Garber. This book is the only one on this list that isn't out yet but it is coming out in September, nope October. <laughs> The end of October, however, it is kind of a holiday read, so I think I'm probably gonna wait to read it until, we'll see if I can wait all the way until December, but I'm so excited, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. And this is a little novella that she wrote that takes place in the world of Caraval, which is a trilogy. And even though I say it is a novella, it is like 200 pages, so it's not super short, which I was so excited when I saw the length of it because some novellas are like 100 pages. That's almost pointless but this one is a decent size. But yeah, definitely only read it, I'm assuming, if you've read Caraval, which if you haven't, please read because I'm obsessed with it. It's a five-star series for me. I have two different editions of this book on pre-order. I have the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition and the UK Waterstones exclusive edition, so cannot wait to Get those in the mail in like three weeks. I'm so excited. Next one on this list is The Lost Story by Meg Schaffer. This is the only one on this list that I don't own and that I don't think is on Kindle Unlimited. So I'll probably have to buy it when I am ready to read it. But this is like magical realism. I've heard it kind of gives off the Chronicles of Narnia vibes because it deals with like this magical otherworldly place. And I really loved her first debut novel, The Wishing 
reading game. So I'm really hoping I will really like this one too. This next one, I definitely want to read in the winter. So we'll see if I read it before 2024 ends, but that is A Winter's Promise by Christelle Davos. I tried starting this last winter for a reading Christmas books video, but I realized a little bit into it that even though it is kind of wintry, it's not very Christmas specific. So I put it down for a different book, but I do want to read it. It is a YA fantasy series. I can't remember how many books there are, maybe like four. The next two books on this list are books that I've actually started and my goal is to just finish by the end of the year. This one might be a little bit harder than the other one, but this is Atomic Habits by James Clear. And I'm currently on page chapter two, page. 29. So when I first got it, I picked it up and read that first chapter like in like two days or something. Maybe not, maybe like a week, but I was on a roll. I was like, oh, I'm going to try and read it like one chapter every weekend. And then I just stopped reading it and I was really liking it. So not sure if I'll get to finish this, but that's the goal. And this is just what it sounds like. It's about building good habits and how to keep them and breaking bad habits. Hopefully I get to that one. And the other one I want to finish, which is probably going to be easier, is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. And the reason I say that is because I am like 65 percent of the way through. I'm on page 189 out of like 300 and I'm loving it to be honest. The only reason I am not done with it is because I've said this in other videos too so sorry if I'm being repetitive but me and my husband are reading this together like out loud to each other so every couple weeks we decide to pick it up and read before bed and we read like 10 pages and then we don't pick it up for a month so very slowly but surely making our way through it but I'm really liking it so the goal is to finish it before 2024 is over if not you have permission to yell at me in the comments. That is my end of your TBR. And then one more thing I wanted to quickly talk about is just new slash upcoming releases that I'm excited to read. I have five on this list. One I already talked about, Spectacular by Stephanie Garber releases October 22nd. Another one that just released recently, which is actually hilarious because I was reading it like a day after the second book came out. When I say reading it, I mean the first book and that is Somewhere Beyond the Sea by TJ Klune, the sequel to The House in the Cerulean Sea, which I really liked. So definitely want to buy and read that one. Another one that just released is Nothing Like the Movies by Lynn Painter, which is the sequel to Better Than the Movies, which I also absolutely loved. Then I have The Wedding Witch by Aaron Sterling, which releases October 15th, which from when I'm filming this, I think is like a week from now. So very soon, this is the third book in, I would say it's like an interconnected standalone series. And then lastly, I actually totally forgot this book was coming out so soon because the most recent book in the series came out not that long ago in like June, but that is Tale. What's that? My cats have joined me and they're knocking things off the bookshelf. Um, Tale of the Heart Queen by Nisha J. Tooley, which is the fourth and final book in the Artifacts of Uranus Quartet. Really enjoying that series so far, so hopefully the last book is just as good and I'll be able to mark another series off of my series I'm in the middle of list when I read that. All right guys, that is all for today. See me. Say hi to the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed hearing me talk about books and what books I want to read by the end of the year. I'm planning on doing a like end of the year reading wrap up, stats, all the stuff. So you will see how I've done on some of these lists at that point. And you might see some of these books being read in some videos coming up. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!